Good afternoon everyone. I've got another unboxing today. Uh, this one is from Scrollbox. This is the first time I've bought one of their boxes and I originally found it because um, it was a page on Facebook that my godson Kieran had liked. Uh, so if you're watching this Kieran, hi. Thank you for liking scroll box and bringing it to my attention um it's a it's another monthly subscription box um and it's uh, got art supplies in so i thought i'd give it a go um hopefully uh, it'll give me something to do uh rather than sitting on my bum and watching videos i can sit on my bum and do something else instead so here we go um it, it came just a, a short while ago um, right that's the box open ah that's quite a good way of um of closing it so so yeah that that's under there you get the rip tab that takes that bit off and then it opens like that pretty good so this is what the inside of it looks like I have no idea about the things that are in this particular scroll box um, because I've not seen any um, spoiler videos uh, all these things I, I buy them off my own bike I don't look for spoilers on purpose um, if I see one on an advert um, I don't tend to look into it because I'd rather see what's in it when it arrives uh, oops. there's this package that's wrapped in white tissue paper and this drumstick juice sweetie fell out of it Thank you. That was one of the things that I read, that they do put sweets in the packages, so that's quite nice. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to open this without ripping it. I hate ripping it for some reason. But when I'm opening Christmas and birthday presents, I'm never one to just rip straight into it. I prefer to keep the paper whole. I used to love the, the pictures on Christmas wrapping paper when I was little and um, it just it seemed wrong to rip into them. Right, okay, so it's it's done like a, a, a little bag uh, in that it's, it's kind of folded over and sealed at the bottom but not quite. Uh, oh, right, I get it, it's just folded up. Yep, right, okay, I'm with you. Show you what's in this before I start picking stuff out of it. Here you go. Right, let's see. What's this? This is a, uh, it looks like a little sticker. Ah, this is right. Okay, scroll box June. Halfway through what has turned out to be a very strange year. That's true. Uh, and we wanted to give you some tools to help distract you from the outside world for a while and explore something new. This month we have provided you with some water-based art materials that are a little different from what you might normally use. Take some time out, explore the supplies and the inspiration included to take on the scroller cha scroller challenge cha challenge scroller challenge. Uh, You've probably heard this question before, if you were an animal what would you be, but what if that animal did not exist yet, or what if you combined two or more different animals. Have fun playing around with this idea and see what exciting spirit animal you can create that represents you best. That's uh, interesting. So, 
there's this is the first item and it's Derwent ink tense blocks it comes in this little box do you know I've, I've used Derwent stuff over the years watercolors uh, sketch pads pencils but for some reason I, I never knew that they do inks as well Special colour selection, I blame the heat, especially for scroller box. So. Oh. Right, so that's what this is. What does it say about it? Derwent ink tense blocks are highly versatile water soluble pigments, so they're not inks, I was wrong, uh, which create a vivid ink like medium when combined with a little water. Once dried after application, ink tense becomes permanent, which enables you to work over the dry areas without affecting the original layers of colour. These satisfyingly chunky, chunky blocks produce vibrant and saturated colours that are extremely adaptable and you can use them for a wide range of creative effects. You can use them like pans of paint with a wet brush to gather the pigment or dip the blocks directly into water to apply a saturated colour to paper. They can also be used dry or applied to wet washed paper for instant vibrant and intense colour. And the recommended retail price of this box is £13.50 just for these um, these ink tents blocks. So yeah, that's that's really good. That's something that's new to me. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm sure I've said before um, that I'm, I'm used to using watercolours uh, because it's, it's what I did in sixth form for my A-level art. Uh, so yeah really liking the idea of that right the next one um on the list is a caran dash prismalo pencil which i think is this one yep yeah. that's this there you go look see what it says Prismelo pencils have become a staple for illustrators and artists alike. With their highly durable yet fine leads, delicate details can be achieved with precision and ease. Adding water to the pigmented lead allows you to freely transform your work using it as a watercolour pigment Ooh, to create washes and mix colours. This watercolour pencil is ideal for exact details as well as hatching and watercolour techniques. The lead is surrounded by a quality cedar wood and the barrel is designed with a hexagonal shape to prevent rolling or slipping in your hand. Recommended retail price of this pencil by itself is £2.10. Let's see what's next. Right, just get it from over from where the paper's torn around it. It's this. And this is a sea white synthetic round brush. This sleek looking synthetic paintbrush is the ideal instrument for acrylics, watercolour and ink medium supplies. It has soft and flexible bristles that are densely packed making it great for holding water and dispersing pigment. It is a very resilient and adaptable brush that makes for a perfect addition for any artist. Nice. And the recommended price of that one is £1.50. Next up, there is a Jelly Roll 08 White. The Sakura Jelly Roll pen is the world's best gel writer. Thanks to ink with water-based pigment, it ensures smooth results without the need to apply pressure and it will leave even defined lines whenever you draw. This pen is chemical resistant, oh sorry, chemical resistant, waterproof, bleed free and quick drying. 
so there'll be no smears, feathers or bleed through on your creations and the recommended retail price of that is £2.5p Right And the next thing if I can get it out without the box falling off my cup where I've got it balanced right see white up right and see white 350 GSM CP watercolor paper and it's a few sheets there we have included 12 sheets of premium quality fine art paper this month so lots to work with sea white paper is a superb acid free paper that is suitable for watercolour, printing and all wet media it is a heavy weight and textured paper that gives fantastic results without stretching and does not buckle when water is added to the surface that's pretty good because when um, in the past when I've done watercolour work I've always stretched the paper beforehand um, if you if you're new to it or you, you don't know what I'm talking about while you're watching this to stretch it you have um, a wooden board that acts as, as your, your base um, to keep your paper flat and then you've got your, your watercolour paper and you run um, run water over both sides of it before you use it and then you pull it out flat and use brown part like brown parcel tape the paper stuff um to seal it down around the edges you do it like that because if you don't stretch it beforehand um as you apply the water and the color um it leads to the paper going sort of bumpy and horrible looking um which is what it's talking about uh when it mentioned when it says the paper buckling so uh so yeah uh pretty good because it, it it mentions that there so yeah in case you you don't know what stretching and buckling are now you know so that can go back in the box uh there's also this featured artist alice coles aka hello alice uh she's a watercolor mixed media artist living in colorado she makes YouTube videos focus on educational and motivating content for aspiring and intermediate artists. In her spare time, she loves to travel, read and spend time with her board colleague December. Okay, so uh, that's a little bit about Hello Alice. Might look her up later on. Uh, so yeah, there's that little scroll box um, sticker, maybe? I think it's a sticker, I'm not sure. The ideal to use is bookmark though. Uh, and there's also the scroller zine uh, little magazine that's come with it as well. Ah yes, it's uh, just pictured there. It is a sticker. Uh, and this this tells you everything that I've just told you from that little bit of card about the um, contents of the box. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, and then we've got some information about Alice Coles and some of her artwork. So learn a little bit more about her. Uh, scroll the tips from the artist. Uh, we realise you may never have seen or used products like this before, so we've put together a few hints, tips and techniques to test out and get the best from these supplies. Tells you all about it there, pretty good. So I'm going to read that a little bit later so I understand a little bit more about these um, these colour pans. Uh, so there's a scroll gallery from the April 2020 scroll box. Showing some of the work produced by uh, people that have bought boxes. Pretty good. And there's a scroller extra and a scroller update in the back. Uh, the extra focuses on colour matters and the update on migration madness. So I'm not going to read it all out because we'll be here for another half an hour. And I'm sure you probably get sick of hearing my voice by then. But there's that one. And there's that one. 
Right. So that's everything that is in this box. Uh, I will put the information about it downstairs and if I can find any links online to um, first box price reductions or money off a subscription I'll put that down there too. Uh, so if anybody fancies getting it and fancies a little bit of money off uh, if I can, as long as I can find the, the codes it's sorted. Uh, overall, I think I would, for a first box, give this 10 out of 10. It's it's pretty good. It's got some good supplies in. Um, it's got stuff in it that I've not used before. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting using them. So, uh, thanks for watching, you guys that have decided to have a look at this video um, as long as I can get it the next box might be the June box suit box because I'm still waiting for it arriving it's it's usually been here a couple of weeks already by now but um, I think that there are there are hold ups um, all over the place uh, for things that are coming from outside the UK so, but hopefully it'll turn up soon right I'm going to go now and um, see about giving it a go with some of this stuff in the scroll box for June. Uh, have a good afternoon everyone, look after yourselves, look after everyone, enjoy the sun if it's sunny where you are while you're watching this and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.